Following breaking news on ABC 17 News at 9, Jefferson City fire crews have been working for 12 straight hours now after a massive fire at a state IT building. Thanks for joining us this morning. I'm Molly Stownoga. We are going to send things straight to Zola, who's been at that fire scene since before 5 o'clock this morning. Now, Zola, the sun has helped us see just how badly the building was damaged. Can you show us some of what's left there? Yeah, Molly, well, if you take a look at your screen now, they've really started spraying the top of the building. You can see on your screen that water really coming down. They just turned that pressure up. Really, it just looks like a pile of rubble. There's really not much left of this building, kind of just a frame. Now, we spoke with officials overnight who said a lot of people are going to lose or have lost something from this fire. A massive fire. Heavy smoke, all that's left is rubble. Around 8.51 last night, fire crews responded here and have been working all night to put this fire out. Uh, this is a large response uh, for our organization, uh, 21 firefighters on scene. Uh, so it was a large response for us. We also called in about 15 people uh, to uh, to staff uh, the rest of the city and provide continuous coverage. About 80 app developers worked at this building. That means lots of equipment because we have some of our high-end developers there that means there's a lot of very expensive um, computer equipment um, workstations double monitors those kinds of things officials say this could have caused the smoke to be toxic there was a large amount of uh, computers servers um, various um, processors microchips things like that in the building uh, that would also contribute to the toxicity of the smoke. No one was injured due to this fire, but the things that were lost could have been priceless. It's, it's going to be really tough on the staff that work there because it's just not a place to work. There's a lot of uh, uh, friendships and all kinds of things that are, are, are developed in, in, with, their, with their co-workers, and a lot of that has gone up in flames. Now, East Elm Street is closed right now between El Dorado and Nelson Drive. Officials say this will be closed until later today. We will let you know and update you once this area has reopened. For now, reporting live in Jefferson City, I'm Zilla Crowder, ABC 17 News. Zola, thank you so much. Right now, we don't know what caused this fire, but the state fire marshal is investigating, and we'll update you as soon as we learn more.